I wasn't good at most subjects in school. I wasn't interested. But I realized that in a drawing class, everybody wanted me to do their drawings because they realized I could do it. And I hadn't even noticed that myself. And I think from there it started. I'd always been drawing, but never for the purpose of becoming anything. Just as an expression, I was constantly drawing. My mother was very sick and dying, and I had to take care of her, so I went into art school at night. I realized that my teacher was being tough on me, you know, and uh, I said, I'm almost crying, you know, you always complain about me. And I saw some other people were doing as well as I do, and he said, do you want something? I wanted excellence, I wanted to be good at it. It was excitement for me. Just being able to do it and how to do it best and how to improve and it's just my heart was in it. In, in my mind you need to have the feeling, the desire and the technique all together at hand in order to do your best work. Being an artist gives me a sense of freedom and timelessness not being attached to anything else in the world, but just being, being in the moment. It's, it's giving me peace, it's giving me beauty, it's giving me meaning, the meaning that we often don't see anymore in this society, and especially when we live like in, in cities, you know, overcrowded cities, and you don't even get to go for a walk in the woods. It hasn't been easy to pursue my art over the years. I had three roles. I was mother, I was supporter, and I was artist. And I had to put artists back for many years. It just was in the closet. And I was frustrated. And oh, I knew if I don't do it, I feel like I'm not breathing. You know, it's like as if I'm not breathing. I had a choice at some point when I was uh, raising my child. I could go in an office and do some office work. I would have slit my throat. I had to do something that at least had some connection to art. If a young person came to me and uh, they wanted to be an artist and uh, didn't know whether they could make a living at it, I, I would say they're right. Most probably it's not, not easy. You know, you have to make a living, you have to eat, and you have to paint and try to balance that. That's most probably what every artist has done. But I believe in my deepest part of me, I believe that if somebody wants to get something and do something and they go after it full-heartedly, they'll get it, whatever it is. I used to be uh, too concerned with commercial success. I did three or four drawings or paintings of a tiger and they all weren't to my satisfaction until I played. Then I started thinking, that's where I want to go. What really is exciting and making me happy uh, is, is expressing my, what comes from inside, you know, what interests me deeply, what touches me deeply. Not thinking about, will somebody like this, will somebody buy this, will this be a success? At the moment that doesn't matter to me at all because it seems to be the process that I enjoy. What really touches you inside will touch other people inside. And that's what's eventually going to be what they want to have hanging somewhere. Now it's still important that people appreciate my art. Of course, that, that confirms that I'm expressing something that they get, you know, that, they, that, that, that resonates with them. Like last night in the show, she came over and said, this looks totally different. It's so exciting. Yeah, you know, sometimes there are... Uh, things or situations that I express best in my art because um, one example is like my, my father. My father felt like they were just lazy people and they didn't want to work and they couldn't make a living and they were just not okay. When I went to his uh, sick bed, um, he looked a certain way to me and it was touching, it was sad, it was horrible, it was to see him so old and so frail was horrible. And I went back, came back here from Germany, and I, I was sitting down, and I had my father's face in front of my face all the time. There was nothing else but do and sit down and draw him, just to get it on paper from out of my face. In my first sketch, that almost looked identical to what I've seen. It was like as if I had him in front of me still. It's a way of dealing with it, I guess.
with the frailty. It's a way of tenderness, of remembering, of not letting him totally go, of talking to him. Because when I draw it, I, I talk to him, and then I hear him say things. Like he didn't used to think much about my painting, but I had the feeling he was saying to me, yeah, yeah, you can paint me, that's okay. You know, just, just make it a good one, you know, and stuff like that. And I believe that that's most probably true, because he is in a different dimension, and he's not like he used to be, confined to his own little neurosis that was rejecting art, you know. And I think he okayed it to me, you know. So it was a way of communicating with him still, even though he was not there anymore. But this is a piece that I did uh, being totally emotional about my father. From day to day, his condition got worse or better and worse again, and today he's not reacting at all. And I was so out of my mind that I just had to go, and I didn't know what to paint. I just went and painted life and death. This is life and death to me. It's an expression of what I was feeling. Art was like breathing to me, especially um, when I was younger, because I was um, very repressed. I wasn't allowed to cry. I wasn't allowed to get angry. I wasn't allowed to be anything, you know? That's how it felt to me. And I wasn't expressing anything anymore. I was very silent. I hardly spoke. I was near um, mute. And later when I um, started uh, drawing my feelings and painting my feelings, it was a way of surviving, a way of breathing, a way of expressing, a way of being alive. I think what art gives um, people in society that's not very easily measurable but it's something that it's the soul I think you know just like we walk around with our bones and flesh and everything nobody sees the soul but it's almost the same with art it's almost not visible it just enhances life enriches life it gives it joy it gives it feeling it gives it sadness it gives it expression like whatever I feel about the world or think about the world will always be influencing my art and doing my art will influence my life. It's one and the same. So if I evolve, my art will evolve. You know, it's like all interlinked. Where it will go, that's hard to say for me. I think it evolves continuously. It's never complete. That's what actually is the fun of it. You know, it's the, the path that's important, not the product or the destiny. It's the path. I'm just on a path.